what's good with my people. We in the kitchen, and we finna benefit our bodies, man. We finna benefit our bodies, man. So what's up, man? This video right here is for all my meat eaters. So all my vegans, all my year strong, just started strong vegans, uh, y'all can leave now. Nah, I'm just playing. Uh, you know, this might be for you still too. But this right here for all my meat eaters that's transitioning over to becoming a vegan, becoming vegan strong, you know. So, a lot of people have been asking me uh, where to get the foods, what foods to eat, you know. Uh, they don't know what to cook, they don't know, you know, they don't know where they're going to get their protein. They don't know where they're going to get their protein. A lot of people, that's, that's what a lot of meat eaters worry about, protein. And I'm going to tell you right now, protein is not something that you need. You don't need protein. You're not going to die from a lack of protein. But you'll die from a lack of, I mean, you won't die, but you, you know, you'll probably be, your body will be weak from a lack of calcium and a lack of iron and a lack of vitamins, you know. Your body will be in lack. And you will uh, you will experience you know some probably pains in your bones. You know people start having osteoporosis in their back. You know when they're not getting calcium and when they're not getting the right uh, vitamins and minerals and stuff. So that's all that you need to be worried about. So meat eaters out there, I'm not uh, a doctor, so don't uh, don't quote me on too much. You know, just look up the information for yourself and just, you know, just do a little bit of research. You know, that's that's all it takes. It just takes a little, little time to research. We got to get it back into, you know, just researching. So, you know, it's like relearning and learning all over again. You know, we got to do that sometime. We got to do that a lot of times. So right now, this is what I'm cooking up tonight. Tonight, we got some red beans and we got some garbanzo beans right here. You know, this is, uh, this ain't Dr. Sebi alkaline style tonight, but, you know, we still keeping it vegan. And then we got some black beans over here. So we're going to be making us some nachos, you know, still, even, even though we don't eat meat, we still eat nachos. We still eat good. We still eat the same things just without the meat. So we just add the beans and we got the seasonings, you know, they got these little, seasoning packets for the people who you know like i said if you just now are transitioning over to becoming a, a vegan you're gonna need these type of things you might not be too good at seasoning unless you're a cook already you know unless you're throwing down in the kitchen already you know how to whip up something good you know always check them ingredients always check them ingredients make sure everything's organic make sure everything is cool they got some organic potato starch i was like aha potato starch I don't like that. I don't know what that is. I don't need that in my life, but I'm going to be all right for tonight. Organic chili pepper, organic garlic, you know, that's out. As far as Dr. Sebi alkaline goes, that's bad, but, you know, it's okay because we are going to be okay. We eat way better than we was when we was eating meat, eating all that dairy, eating all that stuff that was bad for us. So this every once in a while ain't going to hurt you. When I was starting becoming a vegan, I did have cheat days, you know, so every month or so I would go out and I'd give me some pizza, I'd put some cheese on it, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't put no meat on it. Uh, I mean, nah, when I first started, I, I, there was, there was like one time that I went back to eating meat and then I was just like, no, I'm never doing this again. I feel bad. Like, you know what I mean? I feel bad. It's like, I'm never eating meat again. This is my last time eating meat and I never went back, but I did still have those cravings, you know, and when I had those cravings. I just go out and I'll get me something that this was no meat. Sometimes I have cheese on it, but uh, I had got over, I got over that too. You know, I had uh, got over that because I was still was feeling bad when I had that. But I was like, it's good, it's so good, cheese. You know, everybody like cheese. Everybody loves cheese. Everybody loves meat. Those are like the best two things. So I got over that. So now, if I have a cheat day, my cheat day might be like a, uh, just a regular pizza from like. Um, you know, one of these restaurants, one of these nice restaurants that serve vegan pizza and, you know, the bread, you know, their bread is always, they probably put yeast in and all, all certain 
type of things in their bread. So that's my cheat day, you know. They bread, I'm like, I don't know what's in it, but it's good. I'm gonna eat it, keep the vegetables on it. But yeah, all right, so listen, this is what y'all need. My bad, this is what y'all need. This is all you need right here. When you transition it over to becoming a vegan, this is all you need right here. You're gonna need, at all times, you're gonna need some black beans. Black beans, you can get these from Whole Foods. Whole Foods, you can get them from Trader Joe's. You can get them from, you can probably get them from like Rayleigh's. You can probably get them from Walmart. You probably can get these from Walmart, I don't know. But uh, you're gonna need you some black beans at all times. You know, that's gonna keep you full. That's gonna keep you feeling like you, you done ate some meat or something, you know? You're gonna need you some coconut flour when you're making your breads, if you wanna fry some stuff. Uh, you're gonna need you some coconut flour, you know? It makes it, it gives your bread a sweet, a sweet texture. You're gonna need you some some spelt flour, you know? This this right here saves saves lives. This saves lives right here, y'all. Save, saves lives, you know, the bread. I go in with the bread. I got some bread videos on there on my page showing y'all how to make bread already. So y'all y'all should y'all could y'all should check that out. You know, I gotta cover this up, man. Let's cover that. But uh you're gonna need you some spelt flour. So you're gonna need you some spelt flour, coconut flour, black beans. You're gonna need you some some kidney beans if you want. I, I'm, I'm not really too big on the kidney beans, but I'm eating them today. Uh, but yeah, you might need you some kidney beans. The kidney beans is also gonna be good for you. You're gonna need you some, some garbanzo beans. You're gonna need some garbanzo beans. You're gonna need some. Beans. Hello? Hello, Garbanzo? We need some Garbanzo beans. You're gonna need these at all times. Uh, excellent source of fiber, perfect for hummus. This is how you get you some hummus right here. If y'all ever seen hummus, you can use these. You, you boil them. You boil them like any beans, in, like how you do these beans. How you how you boiling these beans? Uh, I got some Garbanzo beans in there right now, you know? It's, it's better when you sit them overnight in some water. It helps them get softer, you know? And, and they're faster cooking, you know, so if you're hungry and you want to eat in like the next 20 minutes or so, the next 15 minutes, you might want to set your beans in some water overnight until, you know, you're ready to cook them. And it, it helps it, you know, uh, it helps it cook a little faster. So, kidney beans, you know, good source of iron, excellent source of fiber, fiber and iron, potassium for the black beans, because I know, uh, you know, you meat eaters be worried about protein only when you eat meat, but once, I mean, only once you're talking about becoming vegan, because once you eat meat, you don't be worried about no, no protein when you eat meat, you just be eating because it's good, and you're trying to get full, and sometimes, you know, like me, I'm in a struggle, I'm still struggling, I've been struggling, you know, um, and I love it because it's taught me so much, and I appreciate life because of the struggle. So I know how when you're in a struggle, you be like, man, I'm just, I only got a couple dollars. A dollar will feed me, make me full, and, you know, I ain't got to worry about too much. So I know how that is, but you got to think about yourself. You are a vehicle. You are living in a vehicle. Your spirit is in there, and it's moving this vehicle, and you want to put the right fuel in your vehicle. You don't want to put no water in your gas tank. So, you know, you got to feel up good. Feel fuel up good when you can so you know buy some bananas you know buy some uh some apples and uh all types of fruit any fruit with a seed you good get it i'm just gonna tell you that just because you transitioning over and you ain't all the way there yet you know so if it has some seeds in it you good here's another one quinoa quinoa this is the the quinoa you're gonna need some quinoa it's so good the quinoa you can cook the quinoa and you can make uh you can make like a you can fry the quinoa and it like i said you make it like the beans all you do is put it in some water it fluffs up so it gets soft then you can put some uh flour on it mix up some onions in it mix some onions in there and then mix it together then you can fry it bam and you got like a little burger you got a little patty you know so uh, you're gonna need the quinoa, you're gonna need your beans, you know, uh, 
They they help you stay full. You know, they help you stay full, and you're gonna want you're gonna need that in your life. Cause I know meat eaters is worried about being full. Cause I know y'all y'all don't don't worry about the food being good. Cause it's good. It's good. We got them secret weapons. Let me show you the secret weapons. You need your secret weapons. These seasonings. The seasonings right here. The secret weapons. You need these. These make everything delicious. You're gonna need. So I'm just I, I just know off the back. I already know which ones you're gonna need. Let me let me break it down to you. You're gonna need some sea salt. I use the pink, pink Himalaya sea salt. Get you some onion powder. You know, get you some black pepper, get you some oregano, get you some basil, get you some uh, dill, you know, get you some cayenne, get you some, uh, you know, you, you might need some, uh, what else, what else, what else do I like using? The cumin, you know, you might need some uh, paprika or something like that, you know, I don't know the name of it, but y'all know what I'm talking about, I don't know if I said it wrong, y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, you're gonna need those. Those are secret, secret weapons. Keep them organic. Try to keep everything organic as you can. I know it might be hard transitioning over. You might be like, ah, oh well, it's good. So, you're gonna need that. You know, uh, yeah, see? So, we still eat cereal. For all you, like, I like cereal. I don't wanna give up cereal. You don't got to. Look, they got come up puffs. You know, you can get you some come up puffs. They got all types of, they got spelt flakes. They got spelt flakes and they don't got metal in them. You know, you don't gotta worry about getting you some Kellogg's. They got metal in the food. And they dragging their food around with a magnet because the food got metal in it. That's, that's what that means. So you can get you some come up puffs. You know, they got almond milk. I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, hey, hey, hey. She's good. She's good now. Okay. So, uh, all right, just let her, just let her, just let her. Just let her. So we don't have all that crying. Uh, oh yeah, so you got cereal. You can still eat cereal. They got come up puffs. They got spelt flakes. They got all types of cereal. You can make your own cereal with, you know, the spelt flour. Once you start getting like a real vegan chef like your boy, once you start being in it, in this kitchen constantly cooking, you're gonna be able to make whatever you want to, you know. You can there, and there's lots of channels on YouTube that you can watch. You know, I've been watching uh who I be watching. I ain't been watching too many people and I don't know their names right off the bat, so I ain't gonna say no names right now. But there are some good channels out there. So check them out. Okay, so there's still cereal. Still oh oh look, look what came out. Some agave. I've been hearing some bad things about this agave too, you know. I've been hearing some bad things about agave. And I still got it, even though, you know, I'd still be like, ah, agave. They told me agave was just, was just as bad as cornstarch uh, or something like that. You know, I've heard a couple people say that. And I think it's better than sugar, you know, cane sugar, you know, so. I mess with it. Dr. Sabi uh, recommended it. Not to say that Dr. Sabi knows everything and all his answers is right, but he just, you know, he got a good foundation, and he's been really out here helping so many, helping people. There's not too many people who, who have done what Dr. Sabi's did, and or if they have, they haven't pushed it on his level, and it hasn't got around like that. So hey, you know, Dr. Sabi's the man. He's a legend. He is my he is my uh, my savior. You know, so. Uh, agave syrup. You can use this for your pancakes when you when you want to make some waffles or some pancakes with your spelt flour and your coconut flour. You got the raw agave. You know you can pour that on. I've been using this too. Look, this coconut nectar. They say, look, they even say more nutritious than agave on it. That's why I got it. I was like, oh, they 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 picking the fight with agave, huh? So they, uh, you know, the coconut flour. A little more, I mean, coconut syrup, a little more nutritious than sand. And then I just picked up this, look what I just picked up, y'all. Can you believe that? Some date syrup? They got date syrup. They got date syrup, y'all. When I seen this, I was like, this is like $10. 
but I was like, you know what? I got EBT. It's my, it's me. When on the when the first come, I'm like, ooh, I'm getting that. I'm getting that when the first come. You know, it was at the end of the month, and I was just in there like peeping. I was just window shopping, but I was in there. And, you know, I'll be in there sometimes just grabbing a little stuff, and I'll be like, ooh, when the first come, I'm getting that. I'm getting that too. So I had to get that that uh, that agave. I mean, that date syrup. So yeah. Oh yeah. This is from our hometown. You know, well, that's what they say. This is from Egypt, this is from Africa. Well, not our hometown. You know, some of us are from America. Not America, but this land. It was ours. It's ours, you know. But I ain't gonna get into that. But look, you know, they got you some Kamut, whole grain, organic. This is, you know, this is the rice. This is the new rice right here. No, we don't do white rice. We don't do brown rice. Well, every here and there, we do do some brown rice, some Spanish rice or something, you know, when we're just looking for that extra flavor. But uh, it's okay, you don't need no more. We're gonna eat in just a second. But, uh, you know, we've been messing with the Kamut. I like it. This is this is the new rice right here. You need this. Get you some, okay? It's from your hometown. Quinoa. Quinoa, you know, we stay stacked on the quinoa. Uh, you're gonna need you some coconut sugar, you know. Get away from that cane sugar. Now, nah, don't even get the organic cane sugar. Don't even do it, you know. Don't do it. Get you some coconut sugar or get you some date sugar. I mess with those too. Um, you know, get those. Um, what else is like a, uh, what is something else that a lot of people be eating? You know, always tomatoes, you know. Okay, let's let's go to the to the to the fruit table. To the fruit table. You know, we got us some pears in here. We got us some apricots, some bananas. You know, you're gonna need you some onions. Got some pineapples back here. You know, more pears, lemons. This is what we're using today for our uh our our nachos. You know, this is like a cheat day. It's like our cheat day stuff right here. Usually uh, we will get some vegan chips. Um yeah, and we'll make sure it got all the the right um stuff on there we'll read it make sure it says vegan make sure it says non-gmo and organic and all that good stuff you know so we uh you know, we'll get the chips you know i'm not a big you know i'm not a big chip eater but uh uh i might pick them up one day you know and if you do you might want to make sure that uh they gluten free you know organic gmo free because you don't ever want any of that stuff in your food. Stay away from the GMOs. Stay away from those processed foods. Processed foods, like anything you can just throw in the microwave and heat, heat up. And uh, that's frozen for you, already ready. Processed, you know what I mean? That's processed food. Anything that is um, not as in its natural state anymore is processed because you have to get it to the next process, you know? processed foods but some processed foods are better for you like on apple juice you know what i mean that's a processed food because it's no longer apples but you can make apples with a juicer and uh um, you know it's still way better for you another thing you're gonna need when you transitioning over from eating meat to becoming a vegan like your boy, you're gonna need you some some frozen fruits. It's a tropical melody. Oh, that's another tropical melody right here. This is the lazy boy. It's the lazy boy way. You know, I've been on my lazy boy stuff. But I've been vegan for like a year now, and I've been getting lazy. You know, I ain't been cutting up my fruits no more like I was when I first started and freezing them. Everything. I was excited when I first started. I was in it. I'm still excited for this, you know? But it kind of died down. I'm like, okay, I got this. I got this. But, you know, uh, I'm getting back excited for this. I'm doing more videos. And uh, just trying to continue co to connect with my people. I've been getting some requests, though, for this video. For people that are like, you know, I ain't been 
I'm a vegan, I see, I mean, I'm a meat eater, I see what you've been doing, man. And I'm trying to, you know, trying to do it like, trying to do it like you, man. I, and I ain't doing it too big or nothing, you know. I be eating good, I be eating good. Now I can say I'm eating good. I remember back in the day I was eating, uh, I was eating everything and I thought I was eating good, you know. I thought I was, because it was taste so good and I had a fat plate and I just eat whatever. I thought I was eating good. I'm like, whoo, look at all this meat on here. This barely had any vegetables at all, ever. But uh, I would throw some cheese on it. I would always mess my, my vegetables up, throw them in the microwave or something. So this is what I'm gonna tell you. Let's break it down. Let's break it down for you one time. So, I'm transitioning over to not eating meat no more. And you need to get rid of that microwave because the microwave is killing your food and you want to be eating some live food. So you want to make sure that it's not microwaved. You know, get rid of that microwave. Throw that microwave away. Throw it out the window. Just, just don't make sure your window is open. You don't break nothing and you don't hit nobody. Throw it out the window. Uh, get you a little nice blender. You don't need a nice blender. Once you become vegan, you're gonna start making a lot of stuff on your own, your own spaghetti sauces and your own uh, all your sauces. You don't need those. You're gonna need a blender. You know, get you a little toaster. Get through those little oven toasters. You know, I still want an oven toaster, but I we had another toaster. We went through like two, three toasters because we was using the toaster so much, just trying to cram stuff in them and toast our breads. We would make some bread and then throw it in the toaster because we wasn't trying to put it in the oven because the oven would be taking too long. Like I said, I'm, I'm lazy now, you know what I mean? I got lazy. I'm like, I can't wait on the, the, the oven. I got to get, get it to it fast. But we use the oven now, so, you know, get you a toaster, throw away that microwave, get, you know, throw away that milk, pour all that milk out. It's bad already. It's already spoiled. Forget the dates on them. All them dates that they're talking about, they already bad. It's already bad. The dates don't matter. They don't. It might be worse, sir, for you at those dates, but they're already bad for you a lot of times. So, you know, I don't need no dates on, on, on my, my food unless they actually dates, you know, because I love eating dates. They're really good. I got some date syrup, but nah. These, the vegetables will let you know when they bad. They'll, they'll start turning brown. They'll start getting mushy. And now I'll let you know they bad. We don't need no dates unless they, the, like I said, they let like, us take some real dates with some seeds in them. I don't really like the pitted ones because I feel like they doing something to them, taking out the seeds. But it's just you know I don't I don't want them to take out the seeds. So leave my dates alone. So that's what I got for you for right now. So make sure that you subscribe, you comment, you let me know what I missed out on as far as the foods. I'm going to cook some more stuff, so I'm going to be able to show y'all more on my channel of what I have for you. And I hope that you continue to, you know, make this transition over to becoming a vegan because you want to live long, you want to love yourself, and you want to be healthy and more aware of life. Because when I transitioned over to becoming a vegan, I started being more aware of things, started looking at ingredients, started feeling like, dang, why am I eating this? You know, I asked questions, questions came about and answers came and I started to care more, you know? And that's what happens. When I, was, when I wasn't eating vegan style, I didn't care. So what comes with not caring, you know, not looking things up and not knowing what's in stuff and not caring, you know? So now I care a lot more and it's helped me spiritually because I care more, you know. Um, it helped my health. It helped, uh, helped with a lot of different things. So we need this. We all need it. If you can't cut off the meat completely because you just a meathead and you just addicted to meat and you just are just so conditioned that they just got you just, just like a zombie and you just need to eat flesh and you need to just, I need some meat. Mm. Oh my God, I can't. I can't go without me. Oh my God, I'm gonna die. I need some protein. That's how y'all be acting, like y'all just on drugs or something. We, we saying stop drinking water or something, you know. 
I would say eat some grass-fed meat, even though that's kind of like, why would you eat grass-fed? Why would you eat better meat for you when you can just eat what the meat is eating so you can get better? Why eat meat that's better for you when you can eat better than that, you know? So I would say get some grass-fed meat, get some uh, butcher meat that you know, you know, they cut it up and you know it's, it's, it's fresh. You know, because y'all were y'all be worried about stuff being fresh. Or, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I would say that. And I would say uh, with the milks, you know, get some coconut milk, get some almond milk. Those milks are good too. They still sweet and they're better for you than you know that other the cow milk. Leave the cow milk for the cows. You ain't a cow. You ain't a calf. You know, you don't need that. You need something from your mom or from some grains or something natural. That's for you. You know, so. I would say that because those are the only two things that's really hurting us, you know, the meats and the dairies, uh, and the uh, and the processed foods, you know, because they even have vegetarian processed stuff. They even have organic seedless stuff, you know. So just watch out, you know. Be aware. That's why we are conscious minds. We represent conscious minds. My group is called Conscious Minds. We talk about this in our music, we talk about this in life because we're trying to make people more aware and it's good. Yes, so again, make sure you subscribe, make sure you check me out, check out some of my music because it goes well together with my page. And if you're feeling these, these vegan strong shirts right here, you can pick these up too. I'll throw my email in there, just email me, I could, you can PayPal me. Um, and we can, you know, work, uh, we could talk and we can work something out. And uh, just let me know, you know what I mean? I just want to keep things regular. I don't want to do too much, make it seem like I'm just some type of big business. And you got to you know, you got to pay me this way. You got to go through this page. And so just hit me up on my email. Hit me up on the comments. Let me know. I'll try to stay in contact as much as possible. And keep being healthy, you know, benefit your body. Yeah. Tell them to benefit their body, mama.